Let's start with a red rectangle with the height of 1. Then, from his left side, we will construct the quarter circle, and from the bottom side, we will construct the half circle. We can notice that we have these two blue shaded regions. If we know for the fact that the area of these two shaded regions is equal, is it possible for us to find the area of this red rectangle? If you want to answer this question for yourself and try this problem for your own, you can pause the video right now and then come back to see the solution. Alright, let's get to the solution. So, first thing that we're going to do is to mark those two shaded areas as A1 and A2. We know for the fact that A1 is equal to A2 since that is the condition of our problem. Now, let's take a look at this green segment, which we will mark as A3. We can easily add the area A3 on the left and the right side of this equation, and it will not change the equilibrium. So what did we get by doing this? Well, let me show you graphically. We can take area A1 and add area A3. And we can say that that is equal to the area A2 plus area A3. Now, the magic happens when we try to combine these areas together. So, if we combine area A1 and A3, you can see that we're going to get the half circle. And if we combine areas A2 and A3, you can see that we're going to get the quarter of the circle. Now let's try to find the radius of these two individual circular segments. If you can notice on our left sketch, we can say that this yellow line represents the height of our red rectangle. But at the same time, if we slide it to the right, you can see that it also represents the radius of our big quarter circle. So we can slide it down and we can also mark this radius on our right diagram. Now we will mark the center of our half circle. And if you can notice, this purple line will represent the base of our rectangle, which we do not know, so we will mark it as x for the time being. From here we can say that the length x plus 1 represents the diameter of our half circle which means that the radius of this half circle must be equal to x plus 1 over 2. We will also mark this value on our right diagram. Now we have all necessary values for our half circle and our quarter circle, so we can continue on by finding the area of A1 plus A3, which represents the half of the circle. We can say that that area is equal to one half of the r square pi for this circle, and we know that the radius of this circle is equal to x plus 1 over 2, so we can substitute that value in and get the following equation of 1 over 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 over 2 squared pi. We can do the same thing for the areas A2 plus A3, which represents the quarter of a circle, so that means that the area is equal to one-fourth of the r squared pi. In this case, r is equal to 1, so we can substitute that value and say that that is 1 over 4 times 1 squared pi. Now remember that these two areas are equal to each other. So we can use this fact and combine these two expressions to form the equation. Now we can simplify this equation and get that 1 over 2 times quantity of x plus 1 squared over 4 times pi is equal to 1 over 4 times 1 pi. Now we will multiply those factors and we will get the following. From here we can simplify this equation by multiplying everything with 8 over pi and we will get that the quantity of x plus 1 squared is equal to 2. That means that x plus 1 is equal to square root of 2, which means that x must be equal to square root of 2 minus 1. So now we have the value or the base of our red rectangle. 
Now it's easy for us to find the area of this rectangle since it is equal to the product of the height and the base of the rectangle, in our case that is 1 times the quantity of square root of 2 minus 1 and that is equal to square root of 2 minus 1. So that means that we can approximate the area of our red rectangle to be 0.41 squared units and this is our solution. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content to come and of course if you found another way to solve this problem please write it down in the comment section and until next time as always see you guys and take care.